Hello everybody, welcome back to Drawing the Weather. Today I'm going to show you how to create a foggy landscape. It's just going to be a simple uh, a simple landscape and a simple technique for adding fog. Um, this is going to be one of two videos involving a foggy landscape. Um, this one's going to be simple and then the next one's going to be a little bit more complex because it's going to involve mountains and whatnot. And I think I will do that one after I do the Moonlit Skies tutorial. So to start this drawing, I'm just drawing a line of trees in the distance. Um, they're evergreen trees, so I'm just using vertical strokes. And, and then I go in with, the, uh, with this graphite and sharpen it right over the top of the page. This will be to help tone the sky. It's going to be kind of a I have a dreary day. Like it is today, it's raining out. So it's perfect. <laughs> so I also blend out the trees to make them look kind of misty because there's going to be fog in front of some most of the trees. And then before I really work on the fog, I decide to touch up the clouds in the sky a little bit. I'm just using the woodless graphite pencil. And then I blend that out with a napkin. And then with a kneaded eraser, I just tap and twist to create the uh, to create some of the clouds. And then I just blend those out with the uh, blending stump. Alright, so now I'm starting to add the fog. And how I'm doing this is I'm just tapping. I'm just like pushing the kneaded eraser into the paper and then lifting. I'm not really doing much twisting because I don't want to create like I don't want to create a detailed clouds I want to create more of a like a kind of a hazy mist sort of and I eventually go in with a pencil cap eraser and a, a vinyl eraser to help kind of lift some more graphite but in the meantime I'm going to um, add some detail to the trees that are going to be in front of the fog and I'm still using a 4B pencil for this and I also decided to add a tree a little bit further in the uh, foreground or closer in the foreground and then the next step is just to kind of soften with the napkin, kind of soften the uh, transition between the trees in the distance and the fog. So I go back here with the kneaded eraser and I'm still doing the just tapping and lifting the uh, graphite off. And then I go in with the pencil cap eraser to try to um, take some more graphite off. But it ends up looking more like a cloud that you would see in the sky. So eventually I go in with the uh, I go in with a plastic or a vinyl eraser and try to lift some more graphite. Plus I also go back and forth with uh, between the erasers and the uh, napkin just to help smooth it out, blend it in.
Right, so now I'm going to start working on some of the areas of the landscape that are a little, that are a little bit closer in the foreground. And when I was drawing this at this stage, I really wasn't sure if I just wanted a big open field or what. So I eventually, um, I eventually added water and grass. Um, so I thought it made sense in this drawing, having having a body of water with the fog so close to the ground, the way it's depicted here. But before I do any anything with that, I decided to uh, add some more trees first. And this tree is actually going to be in the fog, so the, just the top is going to be mostly visible. And notice how I draw the rest of the tree in the fog a little bit lighter, so it'll be easier to, to blend out into the fog. And here I'm just uh, taking the napkin and just kind of, not really rubbing, just more just kind of tapping it in. Because I don't want to uh, make the areas that are already foggy darker than what they are. Then I just go back in with a kneaded eraser just to do more of that tapping and lifting. And then I decided to add some more trees. And from here on out, it's all time lapse, so I'll let you watch the whole process from here on out.
Alrighty, so that's the uh, finished drawing of the foggy landscape. Um, next time we'll look at moonlit skies, and then after that we'll look at the second foggy landscape, which will involve mountains, more trees, and perhaps some perhaps <laughs> perhaps some other elements of the landscape. Um, so if you haven't already, please subscribe, like this video. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, DeviantArt. I also have my own website. I'll provide any updates on any tutorials or app projects or whatever I'm working on. Um, those links will be in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.